Manchester United, England's most successful club. The Red Devils boast 13 different Premier League titles, 12 FA Cups and 3 Champions Leagues. You could even say a perfect club. Wrong! Ever since Fergie's retirement in 2013, things have gone south for United and are projected to get even worse. A host of managerial talent has tried and failed to turn this juggernaut around. But now, for two weeks only, the responsibility falls on the shoulders of this man to steer United to one more Premier League title. Can it be done? Well, strap yourself in, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 game save with Manchester United Beta. We're still in the old beta format. Uh, we played a whole host of games since you were last with me, if I can remember where we were. Uh, I think it was the Galatasaray game. So since then, uh, we took on Newcastle at St. James's Park and we won 2-0. First half, it was Hakim Zaitch opened up the scoring on the 46th minute. This little soft header. Bottom left-hand corner gave us the lead. And then we doubled it shortly after. Who was it? Was it Pogba, I think? Wambasaka out to Pogba. He likes to, sorry, it was Rashford. Pogba's shot actually hit the uh, the, hit the bar and it came out to Rashi. He's been on good goal-scoring form of late. We've got a bit of revenge up against, up against some six-fingered banjo players uh, at Turdmore. The last season, Burnley were one of two teams that beat me in the Premier League. Um, but we got a bit of revenge here. Pogba with the uh, first goal in the 28th minute. What, again, long-range effort. That's his spot right there in that pocket. He likes to have a goal, and he got himself a second one here uh, of a similar making. Long range. Ah, he got a beautiful long range ability. 2 0, another three points in the bag. Switch gears back to the old Champions League, and we took on CSK Moscow, and we won 3 0. And James opened up the scoring on the ninth minute. Long breakaway effort, lovely rifle to the top left hand corner. You could probably say eighth minute, really. Um, then we doubled our title a couple of minutes later. Marcus Rashford got his first of two today in the Champions League. Lovely cross headed in there. Rashi makes it two. And then in the stoppage time, it was a penalty. And he doesn't miss from there, not very often anyway. 3 0, three points. Job done. We brought it up, then we brought it back to the Premier League and we won 1 0 against Bournemouth. Hakam Zaitch with the only goal on the 37th minute. Uh, Pogba with a layoff, Zaitch with the strike, low low grass cutter, daisy cutter into the bottom left-hand corner. We took on Birmingham in the Catabella Cup fourth round and we squeezed by on penalties after a 1-1 draw. The game being played at Old Trafford, uh, opened up the scoring was Rashford once again, 1-0. We thought we'd done enough, but Viala for Birmingham got themselves back in it and an outside shot here, a bit of a, bit of a mess. Uh, Vali Baba, sorry, Vali Baba with the goal to make it 1-1. And these are the penalties, Rashford... Slots home. Djukovic has his saved and Henderson between the sticks here. Uh, Ibrahimovic, he doesn't miss. He rifled his on home. Crowley had his scored to make it a little bit interesting. James Rodriguez uh, to make it virtually unassailable. Clark Salter uh, missed the vital one in the end. And we could only muster a draw against high-flying Leicester City. 1-1. Damari Gray opened up the scoring on the 24th minute. Barnes shot. Eventually bumbles out to Gray. And he beats David De Gea from inside the box. And then Rashi from the penalty spot. 35 minutes to make it 1-1. Share of the points. Quite recently, we took on CSK Moscow at their own place. And we won 3-1. Anthony Martial got himself a double here. First goal for him was on the 11th minute. De, De Lowe with the uh, with the assist. Martial, Martial with the layoff into the back of the, back of the bins. Uh, CSK Moscow made it a little bit interesting on the 20th minute. With this goal, Fernandez lays it off to your cocking to so make it one-one. Uh, we then took the lead once again, and it was Martial with his second to make it two-one. And then Dan James in the stoppage time or late, late in the game anyway. Jordi Alba lays it off to Martial, who was looking for a hat trick. Unfortunately. For him, he sets up Dan James uh, to make it 3-1. And that win has got us qualified into the knockout stages already. And then most recently, we did take on Crystal Palace at Old Trafford and we won 1-0. The one and only goal coming on the 50th minute from the forgotten man. That's right, Milic. He's been having a bit of struggles getting in the uh, in the first team 11. Uh, he came off the bench here to score the one and only goal. That brings you up to speed. And in today's episode, it's a triple header and a tasty one as well. We're going to take on Dortmund. It's just because we're already through anyway, but we're going to take them on anyway. Uh, then we're going to sidestep the Wolves game and come back for a Chelsea Arsenal double header. As for the Carabao Cup, we've also got another tasty tie against Liverpool. So that will be in tomorrow's episode. We'll take on Liverpool twice and then Man City in the Premier League. So up against Dortmund, we've already played them once. So we won. Uh, and like I said, we're already through. Dortmund need to win this uh, to keep up their any, uh, any hopes of getting through to the knockout stages. Going to rotate the squad a little bit. In fact, 
Come on, Cavani's been pissing me off. In fact, a whole host of players have been pissing me off. David Silva's been pissing me off. Uh, who else? Uh, Van der Beek's been pissing me off. Cavani's been pissing me off. They're all moaning about game time. But you know what? You've got to really stand out. You've got to stand. Even Milic. Poor Milic can't, get, can't even get a game in the moment. So uh, uh, you've got to take your chances where you can. And he scored in the last game, so he's going to come in for this one. Henderson in goal. Alba, Ajar, Ake, Delo, Ginter, Van der Beek, Rashford, Zic, Silva, Marsh, uh, Milic. I'm going to actually play Martial if he's fit. Because Rashford is is being really good, really good. Ten goals already this season. Um, Martial needs to go. Quick look at the uh, Dortmund lineup: Witzel, Royce, Goethe, Alassazar. It's the it's the who's who of German football. Mats Hummels is also back uh, as a Dortmund player. A free hit here for everybody uh, to try and get themselves maybe a bit of form under their belt, maybe a couple of goals or assists or something like that. I'm not really bothered. Uh, what happens? I'd just like to see maybe some of the some of the moaners stand up. Maybe a goal from Milic, Jordi Alba on the left hand side. Martial has been scoring as a shot comes up to Zic, who starts today. Probably one of the, the players who's been played played the most. Um, I'm playing in, in the holding role today because I think we had a lack of numbers to play that. But he's got versatility to, versatility blah, 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 versatility about him. Can't get my words out. Ginter, who's also playing in midfield. It's not his preferred role, but he's been playing pretty decent. Silva thinks about it. Sets up Martial's fourth goal of the season. And an assist for the X-Man City ledge. And he is a ledge. We've also lost Scott Brown for a big bunch of time. Four months through a training ground injury or something. That didn't really happen in-game. In Here comes United against Silva to Martial. Tries to get Ginter involved. Jordi Alba tracks back. Gives it to Ajar. Which brings it to Ake. Oh, a simple mistake there, Ake. That's why you don't get picked, boys. That's why you don't get picked for shit like that. And Royce uh, actually hits Henderson uh, on the body. And it'll go up for a corner. Which will fire in and fire over. Drama. Sorted. So, yeah. Big, big title aspirations. Well, a big opportunity to showcase our title aspirations this video uh, where we take on Arsenal and Chelsea but tomorrow it's even better with the Liverpool Man City see if we if we can get if we can come out of this unbeaten then I'll be in very very good uh, good spirits heading into the back end of this season um, Martial here strikes at home second of the day fifth of the season he's clinical he's clinical coming out from that left hand side uh, he may force his way into reckoning for those big big games coming up so 2-0, looking, looking solid out in Group A. Another chance here for United. And who's there? Ginter. It might be ruled out. The referee is saying no. Offside, you bastards. Chance here, though, for United to get another one before half-time. Delo. Slips in for Milic. Referee is like, nah, nah, buddies. Nah, buddies. And that it is. Half time, 2 0. United in complete control. Second half. More of the same, please. More of the same. Uh, look at it. Bringing off Zeech. Zeech, whatever his name is. Madsen's uh, itching to come on. Cavani, is your time to shine. Staying with the positive sort of mentality here. Not really not really pushing the boat out because we've got this game won. Look at Liverpool, though. They look like a right force to be reckoned with, both domestically and in Europe. Monaco, though, doing a number on Dynamo as well. What's their group like? It is a very, very tight group. They're also through, it looks like. They did lose once, so they can be beaten. Chance here, though, for Dortmund to try and get themselves into this game somehow with, with 12 minutes to spare. It's a loose ball picked up by Witzel. It was linked with Rovers back in the day. No joy, Witzel. Brandt. Gegejo. Brandt has his pocket picked. Here comes Ginter. Lays it off for Silva, who lays it off for Martial on a hat-trick. Has his shot saved. And it'll trickle out for a corner. Great breakaway there by United. From, from right to left. No time at all. Madsen fires this in. It amounts to nothing. He might get a second crack at it. Lays it off. Van der Beek. Silva. Decides to have a shot himself. But it was a bit bit ambitious. Even for a man of his stature. 
2-0 though, looks like job done, or is it? There might be another sting in the tail here, as Dortmund play back to the keeper, lumped forward, picked up by Ajar. They decide to go all the way to Hendo. He's playing quite a few games for us this season, since Romero has left us. Here comes Dortmund with Brandt to uh, Royce. Delaney back to Witzel. Delaney lays it off to the right-hand side, and here they come, Hazard. Down that right, lovely little delicious ball. Pablo Alcazar has got some numbers with him. Shot is blocked, comes out to the right back, pass lack. Uh, that's headed towards goal. Henderson with the stretch. Doesn't get a finger on it, it will be a goal kick. Into the final five, United look decent for this. Liverpool and Monaco sticking five past their opponents today in some of the other games. Final flurry, this should be the full-time whistle. The ref's got the whistle in his mouth. Will he allow this? He does. Marshall is through. He tries to get his hat trick. He does get his hat trick. The referee's going to allow this. I don't think uh, VAR will be called into it. A lucky ricochet or rebound. 3 0. Marshall with a hat trick just when you need him to get to top four. So that result combined with everything else. Uh, well, who else was in our group? The 1 1 draw. What's that done to the table now then? It's put Galatasaray through. They're into the knockout stages. Dortmund and CSK Moscow will go out. But Dortmund will probably go through to the Europa League. Um, next up for us, we're going to sidestep this Wolves game. And we'll come back for the Chelsea-Arsenal doubleheader. Okay, folks, welcome back. Let's bring up to date with what you had missed. We've only played the uh, Wolves game at Molyneux. And it was actually a ball draw, uh, which is a bit of a bit of an opportunity missed for Manchester United. A couple of points dropped. But fortunately for us, uh, Liverpool did the same. Who did they draw? I think they drew against Spurs. Uh, in the last match. Yes, they did. So it's as you were um, before the match. So it's not too bad today. All right, here, right now. We're going to be taking on Chelsea. Hang on a minute. Let's go back to the preview. Uh, we played each other twice last season, winning both of them. They come into this fifth in the table. We are in second. Uh, they've lost four times already this season. We've yet to blip up. But this could be the start of a very good or bad spell for us as over the next two, three, four five Premier League games we take on four of the big boys so uh chance to uh, really stake our claim uh if we are going to be champions uh p potential or if we're going to be just also around so we're actually going to pick the team right here right now because i've been because of the amount of games going on uh over the past few days or the next few days um i've got to be able to rotate the squad a little bit so we're going to try and play my best squad i gotta look on the fitness as well um should I play Ginter? I might play Ginter at centre-back. How are they looking? They're looking good from here. Pogba has to start. Uh, McTominay also. That's his role, really. Again, I was hoping to rotate the squad a little bit for the game against the Wolves. I was hoping we could take a lead and then maybe I could rest a few players. In fact, I want Martial on that left. Is he available? There he is. I have Rashi up top. Uh, Milic has picked up an injury, so that's ruled him out of contention. Now, Ziyech or James? They are very, very close, evenly matched. I'm going to go James to start, and I'm going to go Madsen in the middle. He has been moaning. I'm going to make sure my bench is stocked as well with creative outlets. So Ziyech is on there. Rodriguez is on there. Cavani, despite moaning, is on there. Jordi Alba, no. Delo is on there. Van der Beek. And the last but not least, what's my centre-back options? Do I have any? It'll have to be Ake. Nope, it'll be Ajar to start. So, got everything else covered, I think, just in case an injury or something pops up. Um, should we come out of this attacking? Should we surprise them a little bit? Maybe get a, a nice early break. So, let's go. Quickly look at the Chelsea lineup. Uh, Kepa between sticks. Bernard left back. Aspetra right back. Zuma, Tomori, Bakayoko, Kovacic, Mount William, Pulisic, and Abraham up top. Away we go. Now, the problem with starting as attacking is there's only one way to go up, and that is uh, all out attack. Gung ho, as they used to call it back in the day. So, either we get the goal and then pull it back a little bit, or if we get caught out here, then we're in a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a pickle. Tomori under a bit of pressure. Gets the ball out to Pulisic on their right hand side. As a Pucheca. Tomori back to the keeper Kepa. Replace it to Bakayoko. They're, playing, they're passing it around nicely in their own half, waiting for an opportunity perhaps. Mason Mount. Down the middle. Tammy Abraham created some space. 
Big, big save by De Gea. And Shaw is back to clean house. Shaw now on attacking duties. Pogba to Shaw. Madsen back to Shaw. Bad ball comes back out to Maguire. Here's uh, McTomney out to Shaw now on the left-hand side. Madsen. McTomney can strike. Remember, he had a hat-trick already this season. Wampasak on the right-hand side. Surrounded by players. Back out to Shaw on the left. Martial's also been scoring for fun. Shaw, an amazing little run. He has poured down. This should be a penalty. Cesar Asapechecha brings the man down. Up steps Rashi, it looks like. And it is saved. Oh, my goodness. There's a whole host of penalty takers on there. Pogba, Rashi... Flipping Martial as well from the resulting corner. Nothing is coming of it. Big opportunity missed there for United to take the lead as we are attacking. Madsen now, free kick, whips it in. Oh, a big slab head heads it over the top. Doesn't score many goals for me, does Maguire. 15 minutes on the clock. Liverpool are beating Everton in the Merseyside derby from penalty. They did also blip up. I think I mentioned that earlier um, against Spuds. Arsenal are hot on our heels as well. They are winning against Huddersfield. They're next for us. 31 minutes on the clock. We've not really created too many chances. And what's what's what kind of highlight is that? Goal kick, Chelsea, Kepa. Hoofs it long down the line. Picked up by United Man Martial. Made a little run. Dan James. Madsen strikes. Great effort. Kepa with the save. It'll go out for a corner. Can we find that missing ingredient to get ourselves our noses in front? Comes up to Martial. Back to Madsen. 35 minutes on the clock. He's got his pocket pick there. And here comes Chelsea with Willian. Didn't even see Willian on the starting line. Here comes another corner for United. Comes out for Chelsea, but Man United get it back. Wamba Saka forced all the way back to David De Gea between the sticks. Now, what's he got up his sleeve? Play it short. Yep, that's the way to do it. Ginter starting alongside Maguire. Shaw on a nice little mazy run down left-hand side. Gets past his man. Lovely. Can he get across? And he pulls it back. Martial. Pogba can shoot. No, he can't. Sets up Madison. And he goes wild wide. Come on, then. Get creative. Get creative. Find that little hole. Liverpool absolutely pissing all over Everton. Last minute before half time. Is there a goal in this game? As a pecha. As a buqueta. I can't, remember, I can't say it. Mason Mount. Back to As a pecha. Da, da. Mason Mount over the top. Pulisic is onside here. Straight in the arms of De Gea, who butterfingers. He must have been offside. Still a chance in this first half, potentially. United, Martial switching gears onto the right-hand side. Dan James uses wan as a distraction. Gets a cross in. Anybody home? No, it's cleared. Here comes Chelsea now. End-to-end -end stuff, but it's broken up by Ginter. Back to Maguire on the left-hand side. Now Shaw on a mazy run. Still into stoppage time. We're gobbling up the clock. James whips a cross in. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Madsen, you've probably had your, had your, had your, oh goodness, that penalty miss could be costly. Madsen, been pretty woeful, to be honest. Second half, I'm looking at uh, Zich, I'm looking at Rodriguez, I'm looking at uh, Cavani, because we need to find that goal. And again, we are going attacking. So Madsen, you're off. Rodriguez, you're coming on. Zich, you're coming on. Do I take Rashford off? I think I do. What, maybe I'll just flip-flop these guys around, see if they can uh, have a better luck. Show some passion, boys. Show some passion. I can't go any... I can't get any higher. I don't want to go to all out. This would be a big plus point for Chelsea if it was to end all square. Lovely little ball. Shaw keeps it alive. Rashford now playing as a left-sided attacker. Pogba picks up the ball nice and strong. Back to McTomney. wan -Bissaka. Can we find that missing ingredient? McTomney. Stumbles. Rodriguez to wan -Bissaka. Crosses. There it is. Rashford gets his nose in front. We can pull that back a little bit. Oh... Massa. You know what? Even though we are got our noses in front, we don't we're not playing like we're gonna boss this league. You know what? Liverpool are playing that like they're gonna boss this league. Maybe if we can get a second goal, I might feel a little bit more relaxed. Rashi on the left. Keeps it moving. Pogba uses Shaw. Can he get a cross in? 
Gets his legs all tangled in there. Gets it over the line. Martial makes it 2-0. Referee's allowing it. I'm going to have to keep checking with the VAR. You know what I mean? But 2-0. That should be job done. Um, who else could I bring on? Cavani, perhaps. Van der Beek. Just checking on my yellow cards. No yellow cards. So, United should hopefully take over these three points, which would be massive in the grand scheme of things. However, Chelsea got other things up their sleeve. Tammy Abraham. Try to make it a little bit interesting. Great save by De Gea. Maguire will pick it up. Uh, we've been dominating them. 20 shots. Uh, nine on target. Four for them, though. Three on target. And they're still trying to press and trying to get themselves uh, outside look into this game. hudson Adoy. Great chance. Great goal. Tammy Abraham. We need to sort of concentrate here, boys. Do not screw this shit up. Why wouldn't it let me say concentrate? Here they come. Pissing out. What's going on? Get rid of it. Do not. Ah, get out of it. Get out of it. Great save, De Gea. We are hanging on in there, boys. This two-goal cushion is gone. Zeech to Rodriguez. Hopefully, there's enough composure in this 11 to uh, see this game out. Shaw, Pogba, Rashi. Lovely. Spread a play to Shaw on the left-hand side. Can he get a cross in? Pulls it back inside. Rashford looking for it. And there it is, Hakim Zaych. That's what I get paid the big bucks for, folks. My substitutes, my tactical switcheroos. Zaych coming on with a goal. Rashi getting a goal. Martial getting a goal. And all because I switched them all around a little bit. Had a little bit of uh, a little bit of creative zing there about us. Cannot do any speaking. I don't know what that's all about. Pogba with the free kick. Still chance for maybe another. And there is. That's four. Cherry on top. Anthony Martial's eighth goal of the season. Pogba with the assist. It looks a little bit better than it does on paper, folks. And that closes, or keeps us in the mix um, behind Liverpool, despite that penalty miss in the first half. 4-1 United, three points in the bag. That's a huge re result for United there, keeping the pressure up on Liverpool, who will be taking on tomorrow in a double header because we've taken them on in the Cup and in the league. But next up, we're going to take on Arsenal, who also won today against Huddersfield. OK, folks, next up for us here is Arsenal, who come into this Fourth in the table, sitting pretty with 13 point, uh, 30 points on the board. Uh, we are in second um, with 34 points on the board. Played each other twice last season, winning once and drawing the other. Um, we're not going to come out attacking. We are going to come out cautious. Uh, what's my lineup looking like? We're going to mix this up a bit. All of these guys hanging out their backsides. Ajar will come in for... Wan Basaka and they'll switch flip, they'll flip flop right there. Gidda will go as right back. Or shall we start the low? Let's start the low actually. Not the pissing over done. Keep them as they are. Um uh, Tomney for Van der Beek. James Jorgiges, he'll come on for uh, Pogba. Dan James, Madsen's on 93. Martial will switch for Rashi and Martial for Cavani, we'll go. We'll go like that. Any other players that can be of any use? I think not. I think this is it. This is as best as it's going to get. Let's go for it against the Gooners at their place. Quick look at the Arsenal eleven. We've got Leno in goal, Tierney, Socrates, Davies, Bellerin, Xhaka, Guduzi, uh, Obama Yang, uh, this Coil fella, Pepe and Lacazette. Coil, who's this then? Some little youngster. Um, only value at 300,000. Keep an eye on him. Here we go. At the Emirates. Massive game this one for both sides. Arsenal. A win for them. Could go to third spot. A win for us. And we close that gap back once again on Liverpool. And extend our lead over our city rivals. Manchester City. Chance here for United. Free kick. Put it in there. Cavani. They're bitching and moaning. Scores just his second goal for United. He's wearing the number seven shirt, so we really should be expecting a lot more from him uh, as we take the lead against these boys in their own backyard. Cavani, cometh the hour, cometh the man. Another corner. Rodriguez fires it in. Is anyone going to pick him up? This time they do. They sound him out. Rodriguez will keep it going. This time comes out to Rashford. Oh, it's ugly. It's ugly. Here's that youngster, Coyle, 19-year-old. Here comes Pepe in the right-hand side. Drills a shot well over. We'll take them all day. 25 minutes on the clock. I'll take this. I'll take this all day long, folks. I will take it to the bank. Last chance before halftime. It's Arsenal. 
playing out the back to Bellerin on the right hand side. Inwards they go. Here comes Pepe, looping little effort to Obama Yang's on the yellow card. He has a strike straight at De Gea, and he shoulders that or barges that out for a corner as they try to pepper us one more time. Coyle, the youngster, doing all kinds of stuff here. No wonder he's in the first team 11. 1-0, uh, half time. Uh, we've got our noses in front. We've not really been in the game, to be honest with you. It's all Arsenal. We took our one chance, and so far, it gives us the points. Okay, second half. Going to keep it as is. Possibly a, a highlight streak from kickoff here. Down the line. Mar Who the heck is that? Great shot. Just wide. Who is that? Nick Attire. Coming on for Aubameyang, who was on a yellow card. It's also hanging out of his arse, it looks like. Throw it for Arsenal. Tyranny. Socrates. Over the top.